Young, Wu Chang plays. Troops advance. Way, large army. Act, Wu Chang plays. Perhaps this battle lasts with victory. Shu, Wu, Lan, Liu Bei. Officer, realize, dream, fight, defeat, enemies, destroy them all! After our numerous battles in the north, we are finally ready to confront Wei. This final battle between Shu and Wei shall take place on the Wuzhang Plains in the territory of Fufeng. The enemy fears our spirit for this upcoming battle and has done all they can to strengthen their defenses. We must keep our supply lines intact and use our provisions wisely in order to overrun the enemy position. Wei Yan, I cannot trust you completely. However, this time, I need the skills that you have used to defend Shu. Please, bring victory to us. This is it, here at Wu Zhang, our long-standing battle with Wei shall come to an end. It's just as I foretold. However, the road getting here was even more difficult than I had imagined. Prime Minister! Let us go. The time has come for us to unite the land. This battle is fated to be my last. Therefore, I must use it to fulfill my master's wish. We have come a long way. We must protect our supply line. then we'll be happy to oblige them. Such impressive skill! My lady, preparations are complete, as ordered. We should have no trouble escaping danger with these wood oxen on our side. We will win this battle, and a new era of peace will be born. My might is 
not enough. Enemy officer defeated. <laughs> Enemy officer defeated. Now is the time for proper strategy. I shall show no mercy. Destroy them! Don't hold anything back! Enemy officer defeated. Damn, it's over already. Enemy officer defeated. This may be the end for my army. Enemy officer defeated. You should know who you're dealing with. Such impressive skill! Now, attack! Now is the time for proper strategy. I need reinforcements! I always knew you'd come for me! Don't think you'll get away with that! Prepare to attack! Follow me! Mr. Sima Yi, we have brought what you ordered. Ah, it's here. This will change the tide of the battle. The catapults are ready, sir! Fire! Fire at will! Leave not a single enemy soldier alive!
Are you trying to make me angry? Defeated! Lost your mind? Now you've made me angry. Heavens above, grant me just a few more hours. to be my final battle. Enemy officer defeated. Defeated! O oh great and mighty heavens, I, Zhuge Liang, pray to you with all my heart. Though I die, may Shu continue to thrive without me. to live up to your brilliance. Attack once more for the glory of our Prime Minister! That's as far as you go. Eat this! I shall show no mercy. Death! 
over already. Enemy officer defeated. Fool, you have just chosen the path to your own death. You should have done that in the first place. Left unfulfilled. Enemy officer defeated. Defeat me? Some people never learn. Such impressive skill! Now you've really made me angry! It's the man of few words, and even fewer brains. like you now is the time for proper strategy such foolish times to not make use of my talents enemy officer defeated Thanks to the Prime Minister's brilliant plan, we were able to defeat Wei. All of my men did an excellent job in controlling their grief and fighting against the enemy. The Prime Minister left behind a path toward unification of the land. Now, it is up to those of us left behind to create a new future where the people and the land will not be tempted toward the path to ruin.
a new virus body. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Wei Yan from the Yiyang region. Possessing a natural instinct for battle, he was a brave and just man. First serving Liu Biao in Jing, he went on later to serve Han Xuan in Shangsha after Liu Biao's death. When Liu Bei attacked Changsha, Han Xuan suspected Huang Zhang of having personal ties to Liu Bei and ordered his execution. Wei Yan knew that no such ties existed, so he killed Han Xuan and surrendered to Liu Bei along with Huang Zhang. Although Liu Bei welcomed Wei Yan, Zhuge Liang feared he would ultimately betray Xu. Despite Zhuge Liang's lack of faith, however, Wei Yan swore his loyalty to Liu Bei and showed great prowess. Wei Yan contributed greatly to Shu with his skills on the battlefield. Liu Bei was crowned Emperor of Shu, but died soon after, leaving Zhuge Liang in control. Zhuge Liang was impressed with Wei Yan's abilities, but still did not trust him completely. Wei Yan knew this, but continued to be loyal and gave his all in trying to realize Liu Bei's dreams. Zhuge Liang eventually passed away after Xu had united the land. Wei Yan, realizing that he had fulfilled his destiny, quietly disappeared into the shadows of the land from which he had come. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. Defeated. Chaos ended. My duty.